Okay, welcome to another Black Star Writers song. This is such a beautiful song. Great riffs. Um, we're going to cover the electric and the acoustic version. The acoustic version's on the bonus disc. So um, if you're going to buy this CD, which I highly recommend, as I've done most songs off of it, um, get the bonus disc and you'll have this acoustic version too. With a really, It's got a beautiful lead to it too. Again, it's... I'm dedicating this song to my wife, so um, we'll get right into it. Just a quick note, if you're wondering what this is behind me, this is a Nixie clock, N-I-X-I-E, and they're a cold cathode tube clock. And um, cold cathode means they don't work off the principle of heat. Um, the cathode is lit up by uh, the electricity that's in it, and there's numbers that go from 1 to 9 or zero to nine. And um, they were put in old scientific equipment and uh, the tubes really aren't made anymore but you can find people that put these clocks together and uh, it has blue LEDs under it which I think adds a real cool look to it. But I got it off of eBay and um, really cool clock. So anyhow, let's get to the song. All right, so we're tuned down uh, half step. Song, it actually modulates between two keys. Um, the key of D and the key of E major. Um, and you'll see why, because we have an A major chord in it, an E major chord in it, there's a D, D major, the A is in both keys, and then there's a, also a G major in the song. So um, it kind of modulates between the two, and I'll speak to how it does that. But um, to start out with, we've got an F sharp uh, minor. And then we're going to go to an E between the legs, okay? So um, what you do is you're going to hit the uh, sixth string strum, and then you're going to take the fourth fret of the fifth string, and then hit that, and then hit the fourth right underneath it on the fourth string, and pull off to two, and then back to four on the um, fifth string to two. So we have this. Okay, um, let me do it again from the beginning. We'll hit the chord. Then what he does is he hits four on that, after the two on the fourth string. We're going to go to the fourth fret, slide up to six, back to four, and then hit two. And then four on the fifth, back to two on the uh, fourth, which will bring us into the E. So... Um, let me show you that second half. Well, let me go through the whole thing slowly. Um, one, two, three, four. Okay, so we got... Okay, that's the main lick, all right? If you get that down, um, when we do the E, all we're doing is moving down a string. We'll go to the fourth and third. Okay, so we got our F sharp minor. So we have our F sharp minor. So you see we hit the bass chord, then the actual chord. on four here we're not going to come back to two on the third we're going to come to that sixth string and then hit the chord so we have this executed. So that intro lick and those chords are consistent throughout the verse. Um, for the chorus, what we're going to do is we're going to play a B minor 7th. So we're just taking our um, pinky and keeping that off the 4th string. Then to an A. Then to an E. What 
he does, he's gonna, this is where they kind of modulate. They're going to go to D. And then he hits this bass note on the fifth string. So it's like you're moving down, okay, a half step. So we're going to D, we're going to hit the C sharp, and then go to our B uh, minor seven. And then back into the... So you got the main parts of the song, the chorus uh, and the verses. We'll touch on the electric song in a little bit. Um, basically, they're just kind of playing the chords with an acoustic guitar underneath doing the licks. Or I'm sure when they do it live, they'll have um, one of the guitars do a little cleaner electric part of it, of that lick. So you can play along with that. So they'll go through the chorus a second time, and then he's going to hit the F um, sharp minor and hold that. Then we're going into the bridge before the um, lead break, all right? So what I'm going to do is two measures of each, um, the bridge and then into the lead break, and you can see how that goes, although there's four of each. So... So you can see there, what we're doing is we're building up on that F sharp minor, and then we're just going to lift off and hammer in on those um, fifth and fourth strings. Then we go to a D major, then just slide down to a C sharp, and then our B uh, seventh, minor seventh. All right, and we'll do that again. They'll do that four times. On the fourth time, he kind of holds that B minor seventh, and that starts the lead. It will go B minor seventh, A, and E, okay? We'll do that three times through. On the fourth time, B minor seventh, A, and then the G, and just holds that, all right? And then they're back into the regular rhythm. So that is all of the rhythm of the song, um, including the electric. And I'll go through the electric lead parts, and uh, which are really, really well done. Same with this acoustic lead. We'll go over that next. Okay, here's the acoustic uh, version lead at speed, and then we'll slow it down. upload my notes um, with this also but um, to start out with this is in the key of E major so um, goes along with the rhythm playing the B minor 7th A and E what we're gonna do is we're gonna start out on the fifth string seventh fret slide to nine then hit nine I'm sorry seven to nine on the um, fourth string slide to eleven then we hit nine and eleven on the third string and then we'll hammer from 10 to, I'm sorry, 9 to 10 on the um, second string. Back to 10, and then 11, 9. So we have this so far. 1, 2, 3, 4. Then we're going to move to the first string at the uh, seventh position and we'll hit 7, 9, back to 7 on that first string. Then 10 and 9 on the third string sliding to 11. 
and then hit next. Okay, so we have this. Then what they do is they're going to go back and hit 7-9-7 seven, on that first string to 10 on the second. What I like to do is jump with my first finger to 9 on the third string. Okay, and then what we're going to do is hit 9, hammer into 10, and then hit 9 again. And then 11-9 on the third. Okay, so a lot of notes there, but let me take it for you slowly. One, two, three, four. All right, so that's the first half of the solo. The next part's really the same kind of lick um, that we did in the intro. Alright, now when we go to the 7, 9, and 10, then we're going to hit 9 on the um, third string, slide to 11, and then hit 9, alright, and then we'll hit 9 again, hammer 11. And this is where they change keys. We'll go up to 12, because that's where they come in with the G chord. So you can see how that all fits together. So that does it for the acoustic version. I'll get out the electric and show you the little licks that uh, he does within that. And they're in the key of E also, and there's a lot of those, but uh, they're very tasty. So we'll go through those next.